What's on TikTok trying to leak my number? She isn't the nice and cute person everyone thinks that she is. Hey, how you doing? What's up? It's Tana Mojo here and I'm back at it again with another story time. You know, she hasn't been posting story times lately, so I thought I'd be here to spill the tea for you guys and, you know, make up for it while she marries Jake. Um, <laughs> hi! It's my fam here. Today I'm gonna be doing a story time video about high school drama that's happening right now. It's currently 10.25 p.m. and she it's just happening. I put this all on my story on Instagram, so go follow my Instagram if you guys want to be updated while it's happening. You know, I thought, this shit's juicy. You guys are liking it. Might as well do a whole video on it. Grab your popcorn. Grab your Slurpees. Grab your snacks. I want to make this feel like it's a f***ing sleepover. We're all having a sleepover right now. I'm just the one gossiping, and you guys are here for it, right? Okay, we're all best friends. Nice. Basically, I'm going to be a story time YouTuber right now. Imagine I'm Tana Mojo. Give me that clout, and let's get started. I grew up in a town of 10,000 people. We're all a very tight-knit community. We're all friends. Everyone's known me before I even had my YouTube. Everyone's known me before I even had eyebrows. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Everyone's known me since my name wasn't my. If you guys didn't know, my legal name isn't my. So what I'm saying is, I've known everybody since I was a kid, and they've all known me since I was extra irrelevant. Today, a b tried me. Usually, I don't care about drama or anything like that, but I really want to make this story time because it heats me up knowing that someone that I've known since I was so young and someone that has known me since I was so young and known me before I even had a YouTube or like a following. I say following like this because I don't have a following. It's just that you guys are following me because like we're all best friends. I get comments all the time saying that. Sorry if I say like a lot. Whenever I explain things, I say like a lot. I always get comments saying that you guys feel like you guys are my best friends because I'm so like real with you guys and I let you guys know what's happening in my life. I don't even know where I was going with this. Um, I don't know where I was at. Anyways, what I'm saying is that tried me okay and I usually don't care about this drama but the fact that someone from my hometown someone I've known since I was so young decided to try to cancel me today she's gonna get it we used to have class together. we used to be partners as of 24 hours ago we were still chilling we were fine we were on good terms we just aren't close anymore right so this girl we're gonna name her Jigglypuff because I love Jigglypuff and I have a Jigglypuff notebook so Jigglypuff decides to post a picture and she's posing in a car let me react it for you guys ready Okay, she's posing in a car. Her caption is, am I my family yet? Because I posted a picture in a car. I look like Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks, but I also want to mention that so many other people post pictures in their car. Why do you have to, like, direct it towards me? And, first off, I just, I have this thing. Whenever people tag me and at me and it's people that I don't even talk to anymore I just kind of get a little sus because if I didn't have a following, you would have never tagged me. You're kind of just using my at for clout. We're not close like that anymore. I can't remember the last time I talked to you. That doesn't mean that like I hate her or anything. It just means that like we're acquaintances. So why do you at me and say, am I my fami yet? I'm like, okay, I see this. I'm like, oh, whatever. And then her friend comments, nah, my isn't this cute. And I was like, all right, I'll leave it at that. That's fine. You know what? If that's her opinion, that's her opinion. Then Jigglypuff decides to comment back and say, aw, you're the cutest. She's supporting the diss. I thought we were Chillin'. But I guess not. I comment back, cancel. Because everyone knows cancel culture is such jokes. Like, why is it a thing that it's funny? Like, it's sarcastic. So I comment, cancel. Not even in bold letters, cancel. Just cancel in all lowercase letters. Because I hate typing with uppercase letters. I just feel like lowercase letters is less intimidating. So I comment, Canceled. I'm defending myself, but I'm keeping it lighthearted at the same time. These screenshots get sent into a group chat that I'm in, and it's my grad 2020 group chat. I'm supposed to be graduating in 2020, but clearly that's not happening. But um, <laughs> my hometown has a group chat called grad 2020, and it's just like all of our closest friends that we grew up with, and you know, we've all grown up together, and it's like I think a group chat of like 20 people. It's girls and guys, and we send it in there. Everyone starts getting a little heated because I didn't do anything wrong to be attacked like that. I stayed in my lane, and then and my friends, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna try to make this girl look like she did everything wrong, okay? My friends decided to be a little bit frisky back. Um, and they were saying things like, 
you're 12. Nothing like super rude, like coming for her. I don't even know. You know, they weren't coming for her. They replied to her friend that said that nah, Ma Mai isn't that cute and they said you're 12. So like, you know what I mean? They're gonna fight fire with fire. I, you know, step back. I don't say anything because I'm like, you know what? This ain't my biz. They can all fight if they want to. This ain't my biz. I'm not gonna say anything. They can all fight. They can do whatever they want. They were just defending me, but I didn't want to get involved because I was like, this is some petty shit. I don't want to get involved in this drama. This ain't my thing anymore. I haven't been in high school in like almost a year. This ain't my thing anymore. <gasps> right. Thought I'd leave it at that. Thought we were all Gucci. Thought we were chillin'. Then a comment goes down. It's Jigglypuff's friend. And she goes, wow, would you look at that? Another case of fame getting to your head and a bunch of shitty people only around you for clout having your back when it's the most convenient sorry not sorry so my friend comments back and she goes we've been friends with her since before youtube but hey we are just shitty people using her for clout you are so smart because it's true literally everyone on this post that girl jigglypuff her friends comment on this post they've all known me before i even had my youtube it's not weird that they're defending me like they're clearly not using me for clout because they've known me for so long and then another one of my friends noel love you noel he comments i've known my since she didn't have eyebrows relax sorry not sorry Sorry, LMFAO, which is funny because back when I was 13, I didn't have eyebrows, you know, and now I do. Crazy how things change. Then I comment, LOL, me having fame has nothing to do with me saying what I said. I'm gonna say something if someone's dissing me. <laughs> that wasn't like rude. I would have said canceled even if I didn't have a following, you know, you're sticking up for yourself. So then my friend being rude said, who are you? Sorry, question mark. Like, I'm not gonna try to hide this. They were being rude. So then my friend comments, this is so like so jokes like just listen to what i say and just imagine like would you take this as a joke imagine not having a famous friend obviously that's a joke because i'm not famous and i think what i meant to say was obviously it's a joke because everyone in that town that i grew up with doesn't see me as famous whenever i go back they even tell me they're like that's crazy that like you're a youtuber and stuff now and like that you have this following because we still see you as the old like annoying my so i hope you guys understand that it's a joke because i'm not famous to them so it's a joke that they'd be saying imagine not having a famous friend because they don't see me as famous was that confusing and then someone from that town commented soon you have some stuck up ass friends because my legal name is soon which this is what i'm saying they've known me before i like switched my name to my that one girl that commented that fame was getting rid of my head says probably talk shit about her back then too smiley face she's just fueling the fire stirring the pot then my friend comments i'm sure care to tell me what i said because i feel like this girl that commented that fame was getting to my head has this idea that these people just started being my friends like i just met them and they're just talking to me for clout like i've known these girls and guys since i was out of the womb after that happens jigglypuff decides to put on her spam account she reposts the picture that she posted and there's like comment and she says when you get attacked by a YouTuber and her friends- Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I guess I'm not allowed to poke jokes. Uh, face. If anything, I was complimenting her, but I guess I'll go- Fuck myself. And I'm like, okay. If this was just jokes to you, my cancelled should have been a joke. Don't call me a YouTuber. Say my fam. Don't call me a YouTuber. That is like my number one thing that I hate the most. When people that I know call me a YouTuber or whenever they introduce me to people, they don't say my name. They don't introduce me like a normal person. They try to use like my social media as some way to introduce me. Like I want to be known as who I am, not by how someone sees me. Oh my God. Anyways, not by, you know, a name like a YouTuber or someone famous. You know, say my name. Say my name, say my name when no one is around. Say my name. Don't say a YouTuber. You're trying to act like I'm just like a YouTuber that you never knew and I just DM'd you and commented and started attacking you out of nowhere. Like, girl, you've known me since I had no eyebrows. What do you mean? So she calls me a YouTuber. That's the thing that triggers me the most. Anyway, she posts that. I'm like, whatever. So then then this is what triggers me to the tippy top top this is what literally triggered me the most because you know what? whatever let's keep this between us let's keep this between our friend group let's keep this between our town it's whatever i honestly like i don't care if people from my town think that i'm a rude person because i've known them and they can make that judgment for themselves they've met me before they can make that judgment for themselves and they can listen to what she says if they want but then she took it to twitter and i'm like are you kidding me twitter is a spot where it's you can be discussed on Twitter retweets our thing so then she goes to tweet <clears throat> ew, ew. hi guys 
guys, today I posted this picture on Instagram and I captioned it, am I at my family yet? She commented back and she sent all of her friends to attack me. So that's cool. Just thought I should say that she isn't the nice and cute person everyone thinks that she is. Uh, what? She sent all her friends to attack me, so that is cool. Never once did I say, go attack this girl. Never did I say that. Just thought I would, should say that she isn't the nice and cute person everyone thinks that she is. Girl! Like, the way she's saying that is her trying to cancel me. What is she trying to get out of this? Like, I don't get it. They all saw me. Like, this girl, Jigglypuff, and everyone in that town, everyone that commented saw me as, like, a little girl trying to make it on YouTube, and I got hate on so much, and I still persevered, and I still did my stuff, and now that I make it, like, make it, you know what I mean? Now that I have a decent following on YouTube, you want to try to cancel me now? Like, what do you mean? You guys bullied me enough in high school and middle school and elementary school on trying to make it on YouTube, and now that I've actually been successful with it, you guys are trying to cancel me for it now? Like, I don't understand. Like, why can't you just be happy for me and be proud of me that, like, someone from the shitty town, like, did something when everyone was hating on her like i also just like don't understand why they couldn't support me because it is so flippin' rare for someone in the province that i live in and just like in general where i live like in canada in alberta for someone to make it as a social media influencer because it's not common where i live at all for that to be your job there's only three other people that i know that have done it where like near at least where i live like in the same province which is cody co christopher collins and maria bethany so why couldn't they support me and be happy for me i don't get it so she posted that and i was like are you f***ing kidding me at this point i was like you know what there's no way that i can let this blow up let's say it does i cannot let this blow up and then not let people know so i go off on my spam account right i go off i tell people the story and i'm not saying anything like bad about her i'm literally just telling people's story i erase her name out of everything and oh oh forgot to mention her sister Puts on TikTok trying to leak my number. She puts my number on TikTok. But guess what, sweetheart? It's my old number. I changed it, okay? And also, just to let you know, that her, her, she, her little sister used to call me all the time and prank call me and be like, ha, 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 like try to prank call me because she had my number. But she was a fan of my, my YouTube. And same thing with Jigglypuff. Like, they were a fan. So I put that on. And then her little sister DMs me and is like, why do you have to put your life on here? Can you delete this, please? And I'm like, sis. Your sis, Jigglypuff, put this on her spam account, main account, and Twitter trying to cancel me. What do you mean? So now when I try to defend myself, you won't let me do it? And it's not like I'm bashing her and putting her name. I'm not. I'm literally just putting this out here for you guys' entertainment. But I'm like, are you kidding me? That makes no sense. Like, that's so hypocritical. And also would like to mention that I invited Jigglypuff to my 16th birthday party like eight months ago. I don't know. Back in December, I invited her to my 16th birthday party. And she came. And she posted a picture. And she was like, oh my god, I got a picture with the my family. So what I'm saying is we were on good terms all of a sudden once I say canceled. I'm not a nice person anymore What do you mean? I feel like I'm just to be around here being like what do you mean? It doesn't make sense at this point. I'm just kind of confused. There hasn't been any updates since Update the girl that commented nah my isn't this cute in the first place posted on a spam account and was like wow I love entertainment or something and then Jigglypuff's little sister commented that and said yeah my so pretty with the face like as being sarcastic like Why are you trying to attack my looks now? Like I don't get it but I just want to let you guys know. Moral of this story, I know a lot of my views are in high school, and I want to let you guys know that this high school year, do not let shit get to you. Make this the fucking year of your life. And I know freshman year and like sixth grade, it's inevitable. You're going to get drama handed to you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's, it's going to be there. But it's just how you decide to handle the situation. Don't let it get to you, and don't let ruin your life don't let it affect you if i didn't follow like what i'm saying right now and if i let people get to me i would have never ever ever been where i am right now on youtube people made fun of me for having youtube and they would mock me and put me on their snapchat stories mocking me and all that stuff you know i didn't let it get to me and i still did what i did if people are making fun of you and if people are putting you down don't let it affect you stick up for yourself live your life do what you love and i know a lot of people dm me and comment all the time they're like my i want to start a youtube but i don't know how like i'm scared to get made fun of yeah 
Honestly, you're gonna get made fun of. Even the slightest bit you are, I'm not gonna lie. All these YouTubers that have made it on the platform and that have the following that they have, the only reason why they made it is because they didn't let people tell like tell them what to do and what not to do. There's so many stories out there, and if you ask any YouTuber, they were bullied in high school, and the reason why? A lot of it's because of the YouTube, but now that they're out of high school, now that they're doing YouTube and they're successful, your high school life doesn't matter. You know, achieve your goals, you know what I mean? Don't let that shit affect you. I just want my YouTube channel to be a tight-knit community. I want you guys to all, you know, talk to each other, hang out with each other. I want you guys to feel like I'm your best friend or like I'm your big sister or something like that because I know that whenever I, like, when, especially when I was younger, if I watched a YouTuber and like she was giving me advice and I could relate to her, I was so grateful for that and I loved watching those channels and like those type of girls because I felt like I knew them personally and I want you guys to feel that way about me so you know comment down below your guys's opinions comment down below if you guys related to this I will be replying to comments I'll be liking comments I read every single one of my comments okay guys every single one so comment down below whatever you guys want I'll be reading them and if you guys want more of these you know personal type videos let me know because I'd love to do them and until next oh no follow my social media follow my Instagram follow my snapchat because that's where all the tea is anyways until next time peace East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla, too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt, girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her, Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest, all night long, she putting me to the test, got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest, couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best, hey girl, the cutest that I see.